the literature, email overload means multiple things. It means information overload, which is getting a lot of emails, uh, so in terms of volume. And then the second definition in terms of status overload, which is that the inbox functions as a task manager for to-dos, things to read, things to attend to later. So we found in our work, because we looked at personal accounts as well as work accounts, that people, especially in personal accounts, have different types of emails coming in, different categories like bills or talking to family or spam messages. Uh, and those have to be organized and sorted in a different way than status overload and information overload. We saw that status overload was mainly present in work accounts, where um, type overload was mostly present in personal accounts. So if you look at the new Gmail tabbed inbox, some of that design derived from my study. Uh, so things like the promotional mail, the important messages, are the ones that you get from friends and family. Uh, one of the findings I found interesting from this work is that Inbox Zero wasn't upheld as a gold standard for our participants. Um, instead, people felt quite organized, even though they had thousands of emails sitting in their inbox. Mm -hmm.